I think you know, 10 years ago, Google really, right, Google Brain, we really led the charge in um, commercial adoption of deep learning. And it was Google that invented the transformer neural network that's drove in, driving most of the generative AI revolution. I think Google still has a lot of work to do to turn this fantastic technology into products. I think from a technology level, Google is certainly doing very well. Mm. So many people are uh, asking whether Google is lagging behind Microsoft and OpenAI. Do you think it's a true statement? I don't think it is. I think I think that I think that Google and Microsoft are both very sophisticated. Mm -hmm. um, Microsoft is counting a lot on OpenAI for a lot yeah. of development. Yeah. Uh, but I think Google, Microsoft, OpenAI are all very strong companies mm -hmm. with very strong teams. Mm -hmm. market or industry, GPU will continue to dominate the market? I think GPUs will continue to be very important. Yeah. The, the thing is though, customizing, customizing semiconductor is so difficult. Why? Right? Why so difficult? Oh, because... Um, cost? And it's very yeah. high cost. I mean, well, to design a new semiconductor chip requires designing the chip and then manufacturing it and then packaging it and mm -hmm. it's very difficult to do this at small scale. Mm -hmm. So this is why... Um, even in the US? Oh, I think the US, I think it would probably be even more expensive in the US than, okay. than in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. But customizing software is easy, right? So imagine I want to write a custom piece of software. Mm -hmm. Oh, like, the deep learning team is eight engineers, mm -hmm. and eight engineers produces custom software um, that you know, serves millions of people. If you want to build a cutting-edge custom chip, that needs a very large team in custom manufacturing. So that's a much more complex process. Um, and I feel like one thing we all collectively have to do is make sure these huge capex uh, investments translate into revenue. Uh, because if we don't, then I think the GPU market will be in trouble. So, um, just just a few days ago, Sequoia Capital published an article talking about the two hundred billion dollar gap. That given the scale of capex investments by GPUs, you know now we better make sure that all this AI capabilities translates into real revenue because that revenue needs to be generated to justify the cost of these GPUs. And oh, I just mention one thing. You know, I, I know that a lot of um, NVIDIA currently has fantastic hardware, the A100 and H100. I think it's not as widely known, but I think uh, AMD's hardware is getting pretty good as well. Um, I think that the hardware is actually very good, but it's a software. It's a AMD software um, uh, uh, used to be. It used to be hard to find an alternative to NVIDIA software, to CUDA, but AMD has an open source alternative called Rockem, ROCM. That's getting to be pretty good. So I'm hearing from multiple teams that you know, if if you get an AMD GPU and run your AI workload on AMD for for a lot of jobs, it's not that difficult. It's actually quite competitive. Mm -hmm.